our spirit. Let our flesh submit to our Let spirit. Our Let our flesh be quickened in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Lord, as we want to pray, give God the seed of prayer. Lord, as we want to worship you, give God the seed. We want to pray to study the word and help us not to fall asleep. Lord, quicken us by the end of our notes. And the Bible said in the book of Romans chapter 8, verse 9, that when the spirit has raised Jesus from the dead, he will quicken our own body. He will quicken our flesh. Let us go ask God to strengthen your mind. So strengthen your spiritual mind. When your spiritual life is up and doing, the devil cannot come in. Father, Lord, we come to God and we come to God. He does the spirit for the Lord.
I know. It's a great privilege having everyone here once again. You are welcome into the presence of your Father. May the Lord continue to encourage you. May the Lord continue to strengthen you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because I know it is by faith that you people have come to say, let us worship God oh, together. Yes. It is the faith that you have took. Many have not been able to take that same faith. So I applaud you for that. Let us get our hands together for ourselves. Oh, yes. So let us get our hands together for Jesus. And come together to worship Him. May the Lord continue to strengthen us. Amen. May the Lord continue to build you up. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The purpose of God for your life will not be altered. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you, children of God. God bless you for coming to worship God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Because of time, I will quickly just go to the for uh, into today message. Today message, which the Lord has laid in my heart to share with us today. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I pray that the Spirit of the Most High God help us to understand and speak to the hearts of every one of us. That you will be able to understand the word of God. Praise Master Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. 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 So today we are taking our Bible, our test, our message from the book of 2 Samuel chapter 20. Thank you, Jesus. 2 Samuel chapter 20. From verse 1. The topic that Lord, the Lord Jesus laid in my heart yesterday as I was worshiping the Lord and he kept on coming. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. He kept on coming. No matter how I was, you know, take other subjects which I love to share, but the Lord <coughs> keep on putting this into my heart. And I believe that it is for someone to take praise, Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Let us start from verse 1. The Bible said, And there happened to be there a rebbe whose name was Sheba, the son of Birish, a Benjamin. And he blew a trumpet and said, we have no share in David, nor do we have inheritance in the son of Jesse. Every man of his tent, every man to his tent. All Israel. So every man of every man of Israel deserted David and followed Sheba, the son of Jesus. But the men of Judah from the Jordan as far as Jerusalem, remain loyal to their king. Now David came to his house at Jerusalem, and the king took ten women, his concubine, whom he has left to keep the house, and put them in seclusion, and supported them, but did not go in to them, so they were shut up to the day of their death, living in widowhood. Verse 4, And the king said to Amasa, Assemble all men of Judah for me within three days, and be present here yourself. So Amasa went to assemble the men of Judah, but he delayed longer than this, this then he sent time, the set time which David has appointed him. And David said to Abasha, Abasha, now Sheba, the son of Birush, will do us more harm than Absalom. Take your lords 
servant and pursue him, lest he find for himself fortify cities and escape us. For Joab, so Joab men, Joab men with the Shemitites and the Pelitites and all the mighty men went out after him and they went out of Jerusalem to pursue Shema, the son of Berish. When they were at the last stone, which is in Gibeon, Amasa came before them. Now Joab was dressed in battle armor. On, on it was a belt with a sword fasting in it, shield at his hip. And as he was going forward, he fell out. Verse 9. Yes. Then Joab said to Amasa, Are you in health? My brother. And his and Joab took Amasa by the by the beard with his right hand to kiss him. But Amasa did not notice the sword which was in his in Joab's hand. And he struck him with it in the stomach. And his entries poured out on the ground. And he did not strike him again. Then he did, then he died. Then jo Joab and again, and Joab and Bishai, his brother, pursued Sheba, the son of Berish. Verse 11. Meanwhile, one of the Joab men stood near Amasa and said, Whoever favored Joab and whosoever is for David, follow Joab. But Amasa hallowed in his blood in the middle of the highway. And when the man saw that all the men, all the people stood still, he moved Amasa from the highway to the field and threw a garment over him when he saw that everyone who came upon him helped Verse 13, when he was removed from the highway, all the people went on after Joab to pursue Sheba, the son of Berish. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to start from 14 again. I want us to know the scenario that, that, that happened in this place. The Bible said that a man Israelite came out to blow a trumpet that we are not going to follow David, uh, King David anymore. We are not going to serve him anymore. We are not submitting under his authority anymore. Because why? In chapter 19, verse 43, there was an argument within them that when the, the, the king, uh, king David came back from his exile. That the people, the Israelites, began to fight with quarrel with the, the Judah, the Judas, the inhabitants of Judah, and said, Why did you not tell me, tell us to come and escort our king back to the throne? Because he was having a problem with his son, Absalom, and the son chased him out of the throne. Praise Master, uh, Master Jesus. He chased him out of his throne and David went out. Now the Lord, if you read chapter 15, 2 Samuel chapter 15, 16, 17, 18. So now the Lord has fought the battle for David and his son Absalom was dead. Now David is coming back to the throne. In verse, 30, uh, verse 43, the men, as he was coming, the men of Judah was the one that escorted him because David was the tribe of Judah. He came from the tribe of Judah. So the Israelites, the other Israelites, the ten tri tribes, we are complaining, why did you not come and tell us for us to join you to escort to bring our king? Or well, did you think that you are important than me, than us? So there were arguments within them. Praise the Lord. So the Judah 
the, the Judah, the, the habitants of Judah was telling them that, let me tell you, because he's our king, is because he comes from us. And they were saying, no, we are Israel, we are them, we, we are mother. So there was, there was this sharp argument. The Bible said, after that argument, this man came up and said, yes, it is an opportunity. Because people are looking for an opportunity to destroy the life of their own fellow. People are looking for just opportunity. The person that starts to work against you today did not just start. It is because it has been long. He has been not seen it. He just needs a little fire. He just needs a, a, a little push. And you will just, before you know it, blow up. Praise Master Jesus. So this man he saw an opportunity to say, now I am going to turn the heart of Israel to myself. They were not going to follow this man because this is an opportunity he needs to, to, to use against David. This is an opportunity for him to claim that kingship, for him to, to, to rule as a king in Israel. He, was, he has been looking for that opportunity. The Bible said he rose up and he blew trumpet and said that, Israel, let us down. We are not going to submit under David again. And the Bible said, Israel, the people, they followed him. They followed him. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. But as the Lord is laid in my heart today, as the Lord has brought out this, this message today, and it is for someone, and I am praying, as you keep to this wall of prayer today, you are going to experience a move. You are going to experience a shift. Because the Lord is going out to reach out to someone by his word. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray that anyone that is looking for an opportunity to push you out from your position, may the Lord God Almighty, Almighty that sits in heaven, Jesus. that rules in the affairs of men, may he disappoint them. Amen. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ, Amen. there are people that are looking for an opportunity to yes. take you out from that, from that Jesus. position, from that marriage. Yes. The Lord, the God Almighty, will disappoint them. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And he picked up the Israel and said, we are not going to follow them. That was the trouble that came up. And the Bible said, when David had this, when David saw this, David did not take it lightly. Praise Master Jesus. Children of God, there are things that you take lightly and there are things you don't take lightly. Praise Master Jesus. We need to discern things that we need to let go and things that we need to say no. There must be something in this thing. If we don't have the spirit of the servant, we'll just be going like that as if everything is normal. Until we come to a place that you say, oh, I did not even know that this thing is going to expand like this. Praise Master Jesus. Eh? I am saying that any, any trouble, any little trouble, anything, it is something that we need to attack. Anything that is breaking up trouble, we need to touch with it. Eh? Anything that is breaking threat, eh? that we see that is a threat to us, eh? we need, as the children of God don't ignore, we need to deal with it. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And he said to the, the people, he said, go to your tent. We are not following them, and they are king to him. Israel, you enter your tent, because you are not following this man anymore. And they followed this man, they are king to him, and they entered their, their tent. What was he saying? That word that he said, you people should go into your tent. He's not just going to go and sleep. He was giving that word, means a Lord, to us, children of God. The Bible said that the scripture is written for wrongs. In Romans chapter 15, read verse 4. It said, whatsoever thing we have written before, we have written for our learning. That we through the patience and comfort of the scripture might have hope. Anything that is written in the scripture, it is for your 
Hallelujah. It is not just say God to your tetra will last. Or that threat was more than what even some of the people, because they were people that was ignorant of his plan. So they, they thought that it was for their own benefit that he was saying it. They never knew that it was for the benefit of, your, of his desire. It was, it was for his benefit. Mm. Praise Master Jesus. It was for his benefit, but they followed him. They thought he was speaking for them. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There are people that will not say anything. Till, if I'm going to touch on this message, is deal with the little threat. Deal with the little threat. If not, it will spring up mm. many problems. Oh, yes. They went into their tent. David understood what he meant. Praise Master Jesus. Uh, David understood clearly what he meant by that word. There are people that will not say a word. Just only, mm hmm. They have spoken a lot. Because we are in the world, children of God. We are in the world that sign is what sign has means something. Many people are, they understand sign that speaking many words. Just sign that they are going to give out to their to their fellow that one understand what they mean. There are people that will, you you are in or both of you will be happy quarrel. They will not speak any word. And the next thing you will hear is a mm hmm. He has spoken a lot. If you are the sign, if you have the spirit of the Sabbath, you need to know what it means. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. He has not said anything, but yet he has spoken things. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. We need to understand what the scripture is teaching us. In verse 6, the Bible said that David called one of his servants and said, let me tell you, this man, the way he is going, the way he has stood up against me now, I can see this is not just ordinary threat. If we don't stop him, his all will be more difficult than the one Asano did. He saw Asano, the one he did, he said, this one will be more difficult. And this one will be more dangerous for me. If I, do, I did not act now, praise Pastor Jesus. Amen. If I did not act now, this will be difficult. What we refuse to handle, what we refuse to deal with, we handle us at last. Praise Pastor Jesus. Amen. Yes, the problem we refuse to handle. Children of God, let us not be taking things granted. This is the world that we are. There are friends in the office and your colleague will tell you. He said, my friend, you see the way the boss talk to you today or the supervisor. You need to pray or go and beg him if you know you have offended him. And then you go and beg him or you go and pray about it. Did you hear that he told you, you he's going to make you to, to, to lose your, your job? Many of us say, oh, don't mind him, he's a stupid man. That's how we talk here. He will, he will not do nothing. He can do nothing. He don't have, don't, he's just threats. He's just a, 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 a dog that has no teeth. You take it for granted. Even when someone that has the eyes to see is telling us, but we does not see what they see, what they saw. Maybe after five or four months, before you know, they will tell you, your service is no longer needed. That will not be your portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Because that man, as he has threatened, is going to go behind you and make his word because there are proud people that after they have said that word, they want to bring that word to pass. They will go to at length. They will try every effort that that word that they said, they are going to accomplish it. There are people.
God has said they are all talking and do. They said they want to speak it, they do it. It's not that they are just threatening, they mean what they are saying. It takes the power of God for you to talk to those people. It takes the strength of God, it takes the, the prayers to stop those people. Because after both of you have confronted them, go behind you and begin to manipulate. Praise Master Jesus Christ. We should not take things granted. And the same thing happened for family. It happened to husband, it happened to husband and wife. Wives, when the, the, the man will, or the woman will tell him, Honey, since you came back from this trip, this is something that I, I am I'm sensing. There's something that I that is not before she talked, you said, ah, you, you, too, you are you are too spiritual. Everything just you are just putting it on there. On he said, only thing since you came from this street, did you have anything with someone there? Or it, you you see instead of to, to say, how did it what, what are you seeing? And let us hold it and iron it out. You see, we begin to talk upon that word. Because he thinks that he can take care of every situation. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. There are things that you don't want to talk about. There are things that you don't, you don't talk about if you don't deal with it. But at last, it caused many trouble. That will not be your portion, Jesus thing. But the Bible is just telling us eh, that we should tread with care. Yet that we are on this earth, we should tread, we should walk. We tread, we, 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 we should walk. And with carefulness, we should walk in the way that we will enjoy our life being here on earth before Christ comes. Praise Master Jesus Christ. Any trouble that is springing up, deal with it. Don't leave it on top because it will multiply. It will bear many problems. It will bear many problems. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. hallelujah. So it will bring out many problems, children of God. If any friend, there are people that friend will talk to them and say, My friend, the way this your daughter, she is dressing like this. Anytime I saw her outside, this is how she dressed her. Please talk to her. Talk to her. And he said, no, uh, she's just a child. She's just uh, 16 or 14 or 16. So she just uh, she knows nothing. It's a lie. But the day that we violated her, the day she, she will pass through the hands of wicked people, wicked men or wicked boys, then we will say, oh, this is what my friend told me. Deal with every situation. If not, it will spring out many trouble. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The word of God for us is, to, is for us to learn this hour. And David said, I can see this man has stood up as a threat to me. If I don't stop him, he will stop me. If I don't stop him, it's all will be more harder. It will be more harmful than the one of Absalom that was chasing me with armies that want to take my life, if not God's intervention. Praise God, Jesus. Deal with every little trouble that spring up, any threat that spring up. And the Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 14. The Bible said, And went, and went, now they pursued the man. He then he said, Amish. He told his captain, he said, Pick up the armies and go before this man. I want this man to be taken out. I want him to be taken out. I want that problem, the source of the problem. Because the Israel, they are going to follow this man. And if this man is removed, then there is a, the, the problem is solved. That problem.
problem must be removed. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. The problem must be removed. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. David said, go before Sheba. Go before Sheba. Pursue him. I want him out. I want him out. If not, he's going to be threat to me. I'm more harmful, dreadful than Absalom. Verse 16, verse 14 says, And he went through all the tribe of Israel. Now he's running for his life. And the armies, the armies of David, that was led by Joab, they pursue after him. Praise Pastor Jesus. They pursue after him. So he said, he went through all the tribe of Israel to Eber, the birth Micah, Micah, Mecca, and all the pretty, uh, the bright verities. So they were gathered together and also went after Sheba. They gathered the people to join them to pursue after this man. That was a threat to King's throne. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Verse 15. Then they came and besieged him in Eber of Beth Micah. And they, kept, they cast up a siege, moved against the city, and stood by the repaired, the, the repair, the repair. The rampart, sorry. They stood by the rampart and part, and all the people who were with John beat the wall to throw it down. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Verse 16 says, Then I was then a woman, then a woman cried out from the city. Here, yeah, here, yeah, please. Said to Joab, Come near by that I may speak with you. Verse 17. When he had come near to her, the, the woman said, Are you Joab? He answered, I am. Then she said to him, Hear the word of your maid servant. And he answered, I am listening. So she spoke, saying, They used to talk in former times, saying, They shall surely seek guidance at Eber. And so they would end this uh, dispute. They will end dispute. Verse 19, we read it to 22. I am among the peacemakers and faithful in Israel. You seek to destroy a city and a mother in Israel. Why would you swallow up the inheritance of the Lord? Why would you swallow up the inheritance of the Lord? And Joab answered and said, Far be it, far be it, far be it from me that I should swallow up or destroy. Verse 21, that is not so. That is not so, but a man from the mountain of Ephraim, Sheba, the son of Berish, by name, has raised his hand against the king, against King David, against David. Deliver him only, and I will depart from the city. So the woman said to Joab, Watch his head. Will be thrown to you over the wall. Verse 22. The last verse. Then the woman, in her wisdom, went to all the people and they cut off the head of Sheba, the son of Birish, Biri, and throw it over the. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. They threw it. Over to Joy. Then he blew a trumpet and they withdrew from the city. 
every man to his den. So Joab returned to the king at Jerusalem. Praise Master Jesus. Joab returned to the king at Jerusalem. What you see, the problem you see, you need to deal with it. Don't leave it undone because the repercussion is not going to be pleasant at all. Blessed be the name of the Lord. From verse 14, the Bible said that people began to join the, the Judah and run after, pursue after this wicked man, this Sheba that have worked to fight against the king. I was really, I said, then why was he running? He should have waited. He should have waited. If he is brave enough, he should have waited to, 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 to die. He should have waited to face the consequences. Since he was brave enough to attack the king, to blow the trumpet. But what this man was doing, he was looking for people that would join him, for innocent people that would join. That is why we should be very careful when protest is happening, we need to know the protest that is happening. What are they protesting for? We need to understand that they don't, we don't go because people are protesting. People are going together. People are gathering to do something. We need to know their purpose. Because many was ignorant to his purpose. This man was just looking for people that would join him and ignorant people join, join him. If David was not wise enough, he should have destroyed the people that joined him. If he was not wise enough, he should have said, because you, 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 you have entered a league with Sheba, I am going to wipe you off. But he knew that the problem was not the men, was not the women, was not the people, the problem was Sheba. Praise Master Jesus. And he pursued after, after him. The Bible said as he was running, he ran and entered into a city called Eber. And the armies of Joab, they came and surrounded that city. The Bible said they were beating the war. They were the ones who beat it down like a war. They come with war. Either that man is dead or the city will be burned down. Praise Master Jesus. Because the king has told them that this person he needs to be out from the line. If not, he's going to be a hook in our truth. He needs to be out from the sin. If not, it will be difficult for, us to, for, for him to handle. It will be difficult for him to deal with. So that we are determined that this man, either do or die, this man today, they must get him. The Bible says, enter into the city and he was, they were fighting the war. They want to bring down the city. Because of one man that has entered into the city. Glory be to God that this woman was brave enough. I believe that we have those women in the house today. The women that are brave. Praise the Lord. That is a credit to the women. Because when I read this, I asked, I said, where were the men? Amen. Amen. God must do something to make a balance. God must do something to, to make the people know that you are important. This one is important. The women are important. The men are important. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. They are very, very important in terms of the things of God. This woman has the world. They were beating the world. They want to fall the gate. They want to fall the fence and destroy everyone before because of one man. Because of one man that has entered into that case. But the Bible said this woman was brave and came out and said, My Lord, please, are you Joab, the captain of the armies of Israel? And he said, yes, I am. He said, please, sir. You see this city that you are, you want to burn down, you want to break down. We are not for peace. This city is the city of peace. Children of God, the way that we approach situation at times, it determines if it's going to be worse or if the situation is going to, is going to be solved. 
It is very, very important. That is what scripture teach us. The Bible says a great word, stir up anger. Mm. But a sweet word bring down anger. A great word, a word of anger, a word without respect. He stir up the anger. If that man, woman was not all born enough, he would have stirred the anger of Joab. She would have been the first victim. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. But she was humbled and said, My Lord, hear your maid servant. Please, let me tell you a story about the city that you want to bring down. We are not for peace. Yes, decades ago, we are known for peace. And I am one of the people that when other people, other Israel bring trouble here, we talk into it and we settle the case. Amicably. Amen. Then why did you want to destroy this wonderful city that the Lord has given unto us? And Joab said, Ma, it is not what you think that we have come to destroy the city. Because the woman never knew that someone has entered into that city. The woman was not aware that someone has entered, has run in. He thought that Joab came with the armies to bring down the city. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I pray this simple prayer for someone today. Anyone that is hiding in our lives, Jesus. that is attracting the enemy towards us, tonight may that be removed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Anyone hiding, any power, they say because of that person, is in your family the evil that he has done the evil you did last time is the one that is affecting everyone that has come in that family by the power in the name of, power Jesus, the name of Jesus by the blood of Jesus oh, yes, that evil is removed Amen. but so ever attracted enemy into our life into our destiny was so ever attracting the enemy to fight against you so might they have been removed in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ praise Master Jesus Hallelujah. if you say may that prayer is for you Amen. praise Master Jesus Amen. so the woman the, the man said no you miss it wrong man I did not come to destroy the city for it is because of one man that has run into it. This man has raised up his hand against the king. He's not afraid. So I pray anyone that has raised up his hand against you. The Bible said, Jesus Christ cried out and said, In my father's house, the house of my father is the house of prayer. Amen. Because what is the house that when you pray, God answers. Amen. Except people that doesn't believe in that prayer. Amen. Praise Master Jesus. Except people that doesn't believe in that prayer. So I am praying to Master. Jesus. The God of heaven that exposed that man. We expose every power. Amen. Every spirit that has hiding under us to affect us. To walk against us. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Just be alert. Let your spirit be open to us. Pray to God. Jesus. Amen. Thank you. He said, Far be it. Because someone has run into it. Someone has lifted up his hand to fight the king. Anyone that has lifted up his hand to fight you. Jesus. Anyone that has lifted up his hand to fight me. Oh my I God. Stand
because I am going to go into that into the city and bring the message. I will not bring him life to you because if we have maybe a, a, a opportunity to escape again. No, I am going to bring his head so that you will be sure that he is dead. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. This is a woman that is talking with, with audacity and with authority. He said, I will go to the city. Don't worry, that is not a problem. If that is why you guys are beating against the, the wall of this city, hold your peace because I am going in there. I will not bring him life. I will bring his head. Jesus. Praise the Lord. Tonight, the heads of your problem, they are shut up. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ today, oh, yeah. if you believe, it belongs to you. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. The Bible said the woman went in and they searched for this man. He did to him according to what she said. They cut the head of Sheba and threw it through the gate to John. Said, This is the head of the man that you are looking for. The Bible said the, the, the man, Joab, blew a trumpet, the trumpet of peace. And the men that was that surrounded the, the city, they went off, they, they, they retreated from their anger. Oh, and they yes. went My to their tent. The Bible said, Joab returned to Jerusalem with the head of Sheba. You will get victory over your enemies. Amen. You will get victory over your enemies. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You will get victory. You will get victory. Over anyone that have said, Where is the time that you will shine? Over anyone that said, Where is the there is no time for you? I said you will get victory. Amen. When you will be climbing. They will be putting into they will be putting them into the casket. Amen. When you are climbing, yes, because they have said that over their dead body, they will not be alive seeing you that you are making it. I said you will be climbing. Amen. Their, their funeral will be arranged. Amen. They will be preparing their funeral Amen. and you will be climbing. Amen. Because with their mouth they have confessed. Amen.
Thank you for answering our prayers. Glory to Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Amen. Let us put our hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Put your hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us stretch our hands to the woman of God. A lot has left her this hour. Let us stretch our hands to pray for her. And God should replenish her with abundant spiritual strength, with abundant greatness, with favor and protection that the enemy will not use this word against her. Thank you, Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. Quickly offering time because we try as much as possible to work with the time because uh, we are online with uh, the members online. Amen. Amen. Praise God. We did not lift up our friend towards heaven. And please, let's just stay where we are. Let's not just dance to the front because of the system. Let's just stay where we are. And someone will pass their baskets around for everyone. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. We did not lift up our offering towards heaven. Amen. And let us begin to appreciate God. We think as a woman of God, come to pray for you and bless it. Let us appreciate God with that he has given unto us. He said, when you give with good measure, shake it and press down with men, give unto your bosom. Hallelujah. Lift it to us, heaven. Small or big, just lift it to us, heaven. I and begin to appreciate God with it. Amen. Amen. Bless you, Lord. Lord. We exalt you, Jesus. There is no like all to oh, thee. Yes, Lord Jesus. Who is like all to the Adam? Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Jesus. Father Lord, we come before you, Lord, with this good Lord you have given unto us. Lord, you have blessed us abundantly. Yes, we brought this token unto you to say thank you, to appreciate you, Lord, thank you, Father. for that which you have provided for us. Father, we say thank you. Lord, we pray, King of Glory, Adonai. That as you give King of Glory, let your word come to pass in our lives. As you say, give and it shall be given unto you. Lord, you say with good measure, press that shaking over. Yes, Lord. Lord, you said we men give unto our husband. Father, Lord God Almighty, Jehovah, bring your word to pass in our lives. So that your name will be blessed forever. Lord, we pray for they that have not to live today. Jehovah, you are the God that owns it. Oh, yes. Put sins in their hands, Lord. Amen. That they may have a God that owns it. In the name of Jesus. Amen. And does for them, oh God. Jesus. And let your name be glorified. We pray that the source that this has come out shall not run dry. Amen. Father, use it, oh God, to destroy the horror. According to your word in the book of Malachi, Lord, let our give it, Lord Jehovah. Let it stand up for us. Let it open doors that no man can show. Amen. Let it open doors of opportunity. Amen. And the sun that this has come shall not run dry. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, the hand that gives, O God, shall not ask, shall not beg. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Go to your name and pray forever. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name, we are afraid. Amen. Amen. Unchangeable. Unchangeable.
Every Sunday like this, our service starts from half 11 a.m. UK time. Hallelujah. Amen. And we close 1 p.m. Amen. Amen. The weekly activity is the same. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Our Thursday service will go with it online. Start from 6 30. And we close half 7. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Every last Friday of the month, our first Friday of the month, we have our all nights. Amen. Amen. Apart from that day, every other day, we have Saturdays, fasting and prayers. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Quickly, let us invite the woman of God and let us uh, go for closing prayers. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. November, we are going to take our communion service. It's going to be communion service first Sunday. So November is our communion service because due to lockdown, we are not able to do it. Amen. Amen. So we are taking it as Jesus Christ has taken us to do. Amen. Amen. As he has mandated us to do. So, first week of November is communion service and uh, anointing service. When we take the communion, then we anoint ourselves. Amen. Amen. Praise Pastor Jesus. Amen. So if anyone to come with a bottle of oil, you can come with a bottle of oil. That they will be blessing it so you can take it home to your to use it by yourself. Amen. Amen. Praise Pastor Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank God and I thank everyone for your support. To this ministry, everything, the prayers and all that you have been doing to make this ministry keep on moving. May the Lord reward every one of you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us stand on our feet as we go for COVID closing prayers. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Father Lord, we thank you. Thank what an you, awesome Jesus. service. Okay? Thank you, Father. Father, we bless you for your glory. We thank you, Lord, for your presence and being visible today in our midst. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the success of the service of today. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for the grace. In the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, we pray, King of glory, and our week today into your heaven. Amen.